Today we're going to teach you how to make seared tuna on the grill. It's going to be awesome. Let's get started. All right, to make the seared tuna, we're going to need to make two separate preparations. The first is going to be the dry rub. And that requires using salt, pepper, paprika, and lastly, some sesame seeds. Now you want to mix up all these ingredients to make sure they're uniform. To make the sauce for the tuna, you're going to need a couple things. First, start with some olive oil, and you're going to add a little bit of vinegar. Um, if you have rice vinegar, that's ideal. If not, you can use another type of vinegar. I'm using red wine vinegar. Soy sauce. Some sesame oil. Lemon juice. And lastly, you can use some wasabi paste, but if you don't have wasabi paste, you can also use mustard. You want to mix everything up. All right, as you can see here, I've got two nice tuna steaks. The first thing to do is make sure they're not uh, moist, so we're going to dab them down with a paper towel. All right, now you're ready to um, season the tuna steaks. So first, we're going to dip it into the sauce that we prepared. Get it covered on all sides. And then we're going to put it in our dry rub and make sure that it's coated on all sides. In order to make sure that the tuna steaks don't stick, I'm going to spray it down with some oil. All right, this grill is very, very hot. As you can see, the coals are white hot and there's a, even a little bit of a flame. Uh, that's okay when you're uh, cooking tuna steaks to have a little bit of a flame because it needs to be at the maximum temperature. Uh, we're gonna cook these at approximately one and a half minutes. I'm gonna cook it on this side for two and a half minutes. Didn't cook enough. Now when it gets to two and a half minutes, I'm going to flip it and give it about 45 seconds on the first side. 